Sonic, the heart of your system. Alright guys, Dominic here for Kitgo, and today we have a pretty exciting one for you. It's only an unboxing, but it is an unboxing of the AMD Radeon 7. So we can't yet show you benchmarks and performance, anything like that, but we are just going to take apart this lovely package that came from AMD, it only arrived here yesterday. Um, I'm not even taking the card out yet, so let's do that all together. It's going to be a pretty fun one. So it looks like the box just opens from the top. Nice slow release there. And inside we can see, just make sure nothing falls out. The card itself is on the top. It looks like they've obviously put the GPU die as well in here. I remember they did something similar with Vega 64. So <clears throat> why don't we take, oh goodness me. Okay, so like I said, Interesting, it looks like it's some kind of, it might actually be a holder for the GPU because there's a little slot here. So once we get that out in a second, we will try putting that in there. Obviously the die, as we can see, this is, it's obviously the new seven nanometer uh, Vega 20. And then obviously as we as well, 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory. And it looks like it's four snacks around the GPU. Um, so that is the little kind of ornament that will definitely be going up on the shelf there um, and it is also rather unusually a battery so it's actually three batteries as well I'm gonna show you I'll show you in b-roll what it looks like um, to open this now might be a little bit fiddly but I would guess this kind of lights up and we'll see what it looks like but uh, you'll probably be seeing that now I'll just do it once we finish this unboxing section now all we have left is the card so I'm just gonna pull this out I think that's all there is left anyway it looks like Yep, that's it. So the card, of course, as we saw, you would have seen it announced when Lisa Sue came on stage. At, when Lisa Sue came on stage at CES. Nice silver, feels very premium, nice metal construction. Obviously as well, triple fans, it's the radial fans. AMD's not doing the blower style coolers anymore, which is also what we saw in Video Do with its new RTX 20 series cards. The fans actually look um, not that large in person. Let me, I do have my measuring tape. Let's see, they look maybe 75, 80 mils maybe. We'll have a look. Um, yeah, it looks about 75 mil blade to blade, millimeters that is. So not huge, but there looks to be a fairly hefty fin stack underneath there. So obviously we'll get a look at the thermal performance as well. Hopefully it's going to be good considering it's not the kind of blower style fans. They're always a bit noisy. So hopefully this one will be a bit quieter as well. You've obviously got the Radeon logo here as well. I would guess this is going to light up red, classic AMD. Uh, nice silver backplate as well. It's got these kind of open sections. I guess that's going to let a bit more heat off away from the, the back of the PCB so it's not so enclosed. But again, we're gonna to have to look more of this in the review itself. It is only a dual slot card, so it's not massively thick. We're still not 100% sure at this time if there are gonna be custom cards. If there are, they may well be, you know, three slot cards. We're gonna to have to wait and see about that. Display IO, we have three display ports and one HDMI at the front. Nice black metal IO, IO bracket there. Power connectors as well. If we move around to the side, it is two eight pins. So at this point in this unboxing, we're only really allowed to tell you things that were already announced when Lisa Sue went on stage for the keynote at CES. We are, of course, going to look at power consumption as well. Remember, the Vega 64 was very power hungry. So hopefully the move to seven nanometer should, should help that. But we, of course, have to see. We will just measure the length of the card as well. We already mentioned it's just a dual slot card, so it's not that thick. In terms of length, if we go from the end of the IO bracket, it's just under 27 centimeters long, so about 26.8 uh, centimeters. So again, not huge. Um, should fit in most ATX cases, probably most uh, micro ATX and even mini ITX as well. It's not a huge card, like I said, premium aluminium construction as well. And like we said as well, those fans are 75 millimeters in diameter as well. 
Any other features? Some key specs we haven't already mentioned. So it, the GPU should clock up to 1800 megahertz is what they're telling us. In our review, of course, we will look at the average clock speed under load. So we'll see, because um, the 1800 megahertz, that might just be the absolute peak. Although we'll see how long it actually stays there for, that kind of thing. So that'll have to wait for the full review. We already mentioned the seven nanometer process for the GPU. There's 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory. So that is up to a one terabyte per second of memory bandwidth. It's a 4,096 bit bus. So that is huge. That's double from Vega 64, I believe. So really that is just it for the boxing. We've just been taking out the card. Like I said, I will have shown you this by now if you haven't seen it already. Uh, we're gonna see why don't we just move this over here it looks like that should just slot in like that there we go how does that look you are seeing this before i'm seeing it so hopefully it'll look great and hopefully this will light up and it'll you know all look very fancy but essentially that is just it for our unboxing of the radian 7 it was kind of a surprise gpu i don't think many if any of us actually saw it coming so we will have full performance for you guys very very soon but i'm dominic Fulkit guru this has just been our unboxing make sure you do subscribe the review is coming soon so obviously we'll dive straight into that with the performance figures but until then guys i will see you in the next video